loud cheers echoed inside Henry's Lounge in Midtown Sacramento. A contagious excitement as more than 100 soccer fans celebrated a World Cup win for the United States in today's matchup against Iran. Crowds like this having a good time. This was the dream for Yasmin Henry's mother. It was amazing. It was amazing and I wished that she was here to see it. She remembers when her mom Irene first broke the news to her. She goes, I'm going to open a sports bar. And I said, are you crazy? And she said, I want to open a sports bar with arcade games. And she was about 70 at the time. And that's exactly what she did, buying this place at 20th and O in 2019, just before the COVID-19 pandemic. And that was hard, delayed everything. And then of course the shutdown of the bars. And then she wondered, did I make the right decision? They were finally able to open last year, but eight months later in May of this year, Irene died. I knew she was sick. I didn't know she was that sick. On top of mourning her mother's death, Yasmin also had to run the bar, despite already having an entirely different career of her own. I've been a teacher for 25 years. Um, I am retiring, sadly, uh, but I have to. There's no way I can do that in this at the same time. Luckily, she does have some experience helping her parents over the years as they started several small businesses. My parents were from overseas and, you know, they, they were the immigrants, the immigrants dream. That's the way I see that. She says her late father, Ron Henry, opened the original Henry's Bar downtown on 9th Street back in the 80s. So growing up, Yasmin helped her parents and now her daughter is doing the same. Passing and death and health made me realize the importance of the family around me. Catherine Harris is the social media manager and a partner at Henry's Lounge. It is our job and my daughter's to help preserve this. It's what they started and we will continue it on. With the crowd serving as a reminder of the dream Irene Henry had for this sports bar. In Sacramento, Liz Amitri, KCRA 3 News.